Beach Boys Swim. You can swim forward, you can swim backwards, you can do the breaststroke, you can shake it on down. Take it down. You want to try the swim? <laughs> Good job. Okay, we're going on the shimmy. Here you go. You're going to take those shoulders, you're going to shimmy out like you have all these beads on you and you're shaking them. Can you do it faster? Next comes the mashed potato. You're gonna go in, 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 in with your feet. The next dance is even crazier. They were crazy in the 60s. And they did what was called the skate. This one, however, is a little easier. You're gonna skate to the left, skate to the right, skate to the left, skate to the right. Let's give that much a try. Ready? And skate, skate. All skate. right. Change the arms, and you have the Egyptian. Let's change it again and do what's called the hitchhiker. Put one hand on your waist, and you're going to be looking fine next time you go out partying. Oh, we're going on again. Here comes the temptation walk. This was really enjoyed by lots of people around the country. You're going to swing your hips out, together, out, change, out, two, together, one, two. The twist goes like this. You can do it. Let's slide those hands. Pick it up. Add some body. Add some energy. Can you make it a little bit more exciting? Bring one leg up. Take it on over to the side. All the jerk requires is you jerk in your body. Just like this. Check it out. You have one, two, double it. One, two, double it. Okay. Hey, you got to get crazy on this one. Arms go like this. Monkey. The pony was a big one in the 60s. Pony step. Here we go. And let your arms swing. Relax the head. Up. Nobody was doing the only dancing around was grinding or whatever the dance was at the time, the twist, the jerk, or whatever, right? When we grew up, that's the only dance was that wasn't no break dance. Right. We was the only ones doing something different when it came to dancing, and we were using that like a fighting sense. And still in all we get that free, that's, that's, that's tribal. Like I said, back when we started, there wasn't no whole bunch, there was none of that going on. Only dancing was, every dance was at the time, and still dancing. Right. Only different dancing was doing, we was doing. And that was, that was the concept of going to rumble, getting ready to fight. I come in and get the fist. That's what I like to hype yourself up, if you want to call it like a motivational movement. Right. Yeah. Got my cards, I'm going to party in, I'm going to clubs. Y'all was the first ballers, right? In like hip hop history. Oh, so we were the first ballers. <laughs> right. We started uh, like the crave, dancing, craving, all that. Right. We started that. Did you start what? The what? The dance. The, the, like, all of that. Like what? what you thing? know, we used to have a dance called the spade dance. Right. You know, we used to like being up, all of us be in the middle of the floor and we be doing some kind of wild flipping and flipping, going, yeah. going to the floor, you know, doing the spin and all that. Mm. All of a sudden, they started getting a crave. It was a crave. Everybody started doing it. Mm. You know? And it slowly became breakdancing. And it came breakdancing. Mm. Exactly what it did. It came breakdancing. Let me ask you now. When you um, started burning, 74, you was a spade up here. Was it B-Boys up here, really? Yeah, Uptown? us. 
us. Just y'all? <laughs> us. That's yeah. who it was. Us. What? The spade? It was a spade? Well, was you the only to... spade that was a B-boy? Like no, in your crew? No. Not at all. Not at all. As a baby spade? Not at all. I'm uh -huh. saying like 22nd Division. Who was other B-boys in your Yeah, division? my man B. Herrock, Seti Mo. They got, they got me started. In okay. My man Ben Richards really is the one who got me started. But um, Ben Richards, uh, B. Herrock, my man Byron, Seti Mo, uh, my man Angelo, Lolo. We all, all of us were B-boys. That was our crew, the Gun Hip. Crew. We were all B-boys. You know, I was I was a wild kid and I was in the spades, but I was kind of considered the good one because my parents were real strict and I was sneaking out the house to do whatever I was doing, you know, running around like that, and, you know. What, um, what about outside of your crew? Was there other B-boys? Yeah, 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 Breakout. Mm. DJ Breakout. Mm. Him, his crew, my man Basic Breaker, which is Jerry Miller. Uh, I forgot my man Little Jamaica, Warren Smalls. He was part of us too. He was a peacemaker. Okay, but he hung, we all hung out together on the avenue back in the day. And he was a b-boy as well. We all were all b-boys and dancers. And uh, like I said, my man Goth Boogie, Goth, he's from, they all went to 135. That's the junior high school. Like I told you, the junior high schools, Okay. we were in Olinville, they were in 135. Okay. Which is over by Allerton Avenue, over that area. Edenwald, Edenwald had a whole crew of them cats. Oh yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we used to, yeah, and we used to battle them. Because, you know, Gun Hill and Edenwall, we would go over there to their parties at Edenwall Community Center. And, you know, we'd dance at their parties. What year is this? 1975, 1974, 74 to 76 in that era. You know, and then on and on. Even the like, early 70s, 77. Because, you know, Breakout, DJ Breakout, right? When he started DJing, which is late 77, early 78. His first party was over there at Murphy Houses. Okay. And, um... And Bam Bada and all of us were there. We came to support him because Breakout and Bam were very close. In any event, um, Breakout's crew, his security, mm -hmm. was generally cats from Edenwall. Mm. Many of them have been into crime cats or young baby into crime tech dudes. And these call themselves the Murder One crew. Mm. And they were Breakout security. So they was on some murder shit back then. Well, they was. They weren't a game, but you know. Yeah. Yeah. They. 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 They were. You know. Hard. It wasn't mm. a joke. Like my man Black Lanza, rest in peace. That's my man Edo. There's a lot of cats. But by my man Baron, Red Baron, uh, you know, a few people. But that was Edenwall. So Breakout, more or less, was kind of the house DJ for Edenwall. My man DST, Derek Showett, from Edenwall. Okay. Edenwall. DST. Oh, yeah, DST e from Edenwall? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Mm. And a spade. Mm. A baby Wha spade. Wow. Okay. Mm. And you know that's my man and a b boy. Mm. Now we talking about b boys meeting all. Oh, yeah. Listen, the Bronx is the home of hip hop. We don't care what anybody say. It's been avoided and exploited, but it will never be taken away from the Bronx. 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 The wow. I remember the first time he came out breaking. Mm. We were at a party. We had to get him to break. Because mm. he was good, but he was shy. He didn't want. You know, as he would tell it today, he didn't want people taking his moves, but I, he was more shy, you know. And we had to, yo, we was at a party. I'll never forget, it was a Wilder Avenue, with a house party in Wilder Avenue. Okay. And we were like, yo, man, and he started doing his thing. It was knocking, cat man, tearing yeah. it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's what, and 75, 75? 70. 75, yeah, yeah, in that era. And, you know, me and DST, we always called ourselves nomadic b-boys. And the reason is, like a lot of the b-boys were up here, you know, some of them, a lot of us, we went to Cool Herc parties, of course. Mm -hmm. But me and Derek, we traveled. So we went, like Derek, the reason he's DST, mm -hmm. because they call it DXT now with an X. Mm -hmm. It's originally D Street. Because mm -hmm. he used to hang out in the Lower East Side. Mm -hmm. So D Street for Delancey Street. That's where it really originates from. Because mm -hmm. he was hanging out down there. Okay? And, you know, I traveled because, I mean, obviously I was going to Hurt parties. one of the first, all original B-Boys went to Hurt parties, you know, because that was the place we went. But I also went to Flash parties because as a Spade and the Casanovas, that's all 17th Division Spades. I am a Zulu King. I'm one of Bambada's crew. You know, I'm one of the original Zulu Kings, so I'm in the Bronx from the Soundview area. You know what I mean? So I was known and traveled all over the place. DST traveled all over the place. DST really made a lot of his home base, Mount Vernon. And that's when he started DST, the Affinity Machine, and all of that. And as you know, DST is considered the father of turntablism. He's the first person to actually use turntables as an actual instrument. Mm. Oh, yeah. You know that, on Rocky, Herbie Hancock. Okay. You're scratching. Okay. Dun, 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 but I thought he said Flash was the first. 
the fashion the person who really introduced, you know, cutting to an art form. Like the quick mix and so all that kind of stuff. So what's the difference? Because GST actually used it in a record as an instrument. Okay. He's the first to do that. That's the first recorded. Okay, so he was yeah. the first to do it recorded. But Flash yes, as an instrument, as an instrument. Flash was the first to make an instrument. Flash is the person who really started making the cut an art form. You know what I mean? Like In the like, street. In the street. Before recorded. Before recorded, way before Okay, recorded. so DXC was the first one that recorded it. So They're Flash recording, came using first. it like as an instrument. Herbie Hancock, right? Flash came first. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no question. DST, right, is the first person to use it as an instrument. You got to remember, Herbie Hancock is a jazz artist, a legendary one. Herbie Hancock played with Dizzy Gillespie, played with Miles Davis. Herbie Hancock is was part of Miles Davis' original, one of Miles Davis's original sex tape. You know who Miles Davis is, yeah. the, the trumpeter, yeah. all right? And he's the venter of cool jazz. And fusion. Miles Davis is the person who started jazz fusion. Mm. Okay, mixing instru electronic instruments with acoustic, that's jazz fusion. Mm. So Miles Davis started that. The cat who was at the forefront of that with him, who was his keyboardist, uh -huh. is Herbie Hancock. Right. Okay? Herbie Hancock is a legend in right. jazz. Right. Made headhunters, a chameleon. You've heard it. It's a famous yeah. song. Okay. And so Herbie Hancock is a famous jazz instrumentalist. Mm -hmm. And so there he is, he makes Rocket. He starts moving in different directions with fusion and everything like that. And he makes Rocket and he uses as an instrument, mm -hmm. the way somebody plays a trumpet, a trombone, anything else, the turntables and scratching. And that's DST. And that's the first example of that. Mm -hmm. Wow. So D's a legend. D's a legend. I mean, wow. you, can, you can look that up in Wiki, Wikipedia. He's, he's you know. Hmm. That's that. That's real. That's Sony no baloney. <laughs> Sony, baloney. <laughs> Sony no baloney. Hmm. That's from a commercial. But anyway. so, but also, I want to say my opinion. You are also a father of hip hop. Y'all innovated. Y'all start. Herc didn't start breaking. No. Y'all started breaking, and that's a big part of hip hop. So you are pioneers. All right, we're pioneers in it. You're just as much as a father of hip hop. It's anybody else, and I feel you should get all the accolades and all that uh, as a father of hip hop. And I respect that. Right. I don't see. Look, okay. I respect where you're coming from. Because Let me just say for me. What, right. And and I like I said, you recording, right. post it. Right. I hear what you're saying, right. and I'm assuming they can hear what you're asking me. Right. I do not see me as a father of anything. A pioneer, one of the early practitioners, even a pioneer, if you want to say, yeah, I can say that. Definitely a legendary figure, no question. And that ain't ego, or big up at me. No question. My name rings in all of that shit. Right. No question. Right. No questions at all. Right. But as that, I give all props to Cool Herc. But see that I give all love to my Spade family, my right. Black Spade family, 22nd Division, right here, Baby Spades. Mm. Original Zulu King, my brother Africa Bambata. Right. I went to flash parties. You right. know what I mean? I was dancing with Melanin. Mm. When we were dancing to Gaza, Mel and them weren't, they were B-boys. Have you ever battled Mel and them? We didn't battle, we just danced. Together, yeah, and we battle. danced against each other, me, Melly, Mel. My man, and I gotta give him a shout out, and you gotta put this up. My man, Fuji, Mr. Fuji, Tony Fuji Leland. Okay. A1 B-boy. Oh yeah? He was down with the D-Squad, with Flash's crew. D-Squad. Yeah, okay. that's, that's Melly Mel and all them cats. Mm. Master Melvin, they used to call him back then. Who, who was they repping? Who was they repping? Flash, they were Flash's crew. Flash they followed Flash around. They were from his side or not. Before they was a group, though, right? Before they was a group. Before you mind? mean the, before they became MCs? Yeah. Yeah, that's before all of that. They was a group of B-boys? Yeah. Think? Flash was a B-boy. Right. Right. Flash was I a B-boy. You know what Flash's name was? I remember you yeah. told me that. Rubber right. Band Man. Rubber Band Man. Yep. You, okay. asked, you do an interview with my man Tony, Mr. Fuji. And I'll yoast. Fuji, A1 B-boy, baby. <laughs> Always love. <laughs> You know, we used to dance with them cats. We talking about back in 75. Okay. Yeah. See, he's an original. Cats, I'm telling you about is original. Okay. Bumpy Face Melvin. Cats like that. Melly Mel. Grandmaster Mel. Uh, Melly Mel. Who was Master Melvin and his brother Danny. Ho ho hold his hold thought. Hold, please hold his thought and come yes. back to it. All right. So let's get back to the B-Boys you were yeah. digging up. You were shouting out Tony Fuji, right? Yeah, Mr. Tony? Fuji. Fuji. Tony Fuji Leland. That's my man. Okay. Nasty. 
yeah. nasty. The twins. One of the twins it lives not far from me. Okay? The, the what they call the nigga twins. The nigga, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Kevin and Kenny. And they, they you know, Clark Kent. Okay. James Bond. Mm. All right, Clark Kent was Clark Kent because he wore horn rimmed glasses. He looked like Clark Kent. He's a black dude. He looked like Clark Kent. Now, it was nasty. Now, you saying at first all of these people was just burning. Well, a lot of people who didn't become real B-boys, they were burning because they were cats who were standing up straight and doing it, and they didn't become B-boys because, I mean, when I was spinning on all that. So, but I'm talking about the B-boy. Right. Those of us who were going down the floor spinning all that, right. that is starting at her part with Clark Kent, okay. the twins, James Bond. On our side, myself, um, B. Hair Rock, right. Seti Mo, okay. Low Low Rock, B. Hair Rock, and Seti Mo had a little brother named John Boy. He was nasty. Little Johnny can, Ingram. Can we say that the whole burning thing or that whole atmosphere, that whole climate of dancing came from Spades doing Spade Dance? Um, I would say that. It, it, some of that evolved thought, yeah, from that. Some of that, that evolved. Well, I some of it, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it that away. I would say that it I played thought, a role. I thought we said that it kind of came from the spade. It, dance. it evolves from it. The spade dance was like burning. Yeah. Oh yeah, without a doubt. It was like taunting and acting like you know stomping. stomping. Well, that's you know like it's you a stomping. stomping people. And it's well, it's not just that. It's the fact that the stomping because you're wearing MCs. Right. Motorcycle boots. Right. And you're wearing them special spades, because a lot of gangs didn't wear MC. They wore sneakers and shit like that. Mm. But, you know, <laughs> spades wear, um, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Spades wore MCs, right. motorcycle boots. Right. And so, you know, if you hit a floor with those, it makes a sound, especially on a gym floor, wood floor. Especially or 10 or 20 yeah. of them. Right? Yeah, boom, boom, boom. Mm. That's an intimidating thing. Right. And so when you're dancing and you're stomping, that's part of the spade dance. And then, you know, you had cats, you know, some did, some cats spade that they just stomped. The other cats were nice dancers, like Outlaw uh -huh. or somebody. Okay. okay. Sorry about that. That's all right, brother. That's all right. You can do it right there. All right. Some of those cats were nice with it. Outlaw was a hell of a dance. Okay. And he could do the spade dance, but he could do other dances too. Outlaw was nice. Outlaw. Outlaw, yeah. Now, see, Outlaw, you can run around town, you cozy corner. All Outlaw's, you know. Okay. All original spade. Mm. You know? Outlaw's brother Gunner. Now, their mm. baby brother was my crime. Henry shot him. He got killed. Okay. So that was the baby stay with us, he used to be uptown with us, hmm. you know? And me and, Alan, me and me and Henry Shotgun were real close because aside from him being uptown up here with us, with me, we hung out because Fenn was down in Bronx River, Okay. you know? So we hung out down there. So me and him, unlike the rest of them, me and him spent a lot of time in Bronx River. We okay. hung out in Bronx River, you know, a lot, hard, you know what I mean? So that was our home. One thing I definitely want to get on, um, yeah. Electric Boogie. Uh-huh. Back when Tony Fuji and Master Mel and Rubber Band, what you say Rubber Band? That was Flash's name, Rubber Band. When y'all was doing that in 75, would y'all Electric Boogie in? No. <laughs> no. No Electric Boogie. No. So y'all was breaking. B-Boys. Strictly breaking. B-Boys. No Electric Boogie in. No. So your whole B-Boy career, you never Electric Boogie? Ah, hell no. Hell no. <laughs> and I'm a dancer. Right. I did all kinds of dance. I could hustle, you know, the Patty Duke, the Freak, you know, the Spank. I could do all that shit. That electric boogie shit? No, no, never, no. Y'all never did, none of y'all? No, did not that I, if they did, I don't know shit about it. Mm, that came what, after? Somewhere later. That electric boogaloo shit is a West Coast kind of thing. Right, you did pop locking, right? Yeah, that's all West Coast shit. Mm. And then you got maybe the 80s with like, what's my man that does uh, Fable? Right. That's their thing. They do all that. Mm. But that we long, long done by the time. Yeah. Mm. That did not. No. I think Ask me again. I think Ask me again. What? Did y'all let you boogie? Yeah, ask me again. Did you let you boogie? Hell no. <laughs> no. I think that's interesting because I think at one time Electric Boogie became synonymous with B boys. Because of the media. The media. Yeah. You know. You gotta think, right? There was a movie called Breaking. Right. That's with Shabadoo and all them cats. Okay. Right? And they were doing all that. Shabadoo, Boogaloo Shrimp. Okay. All right? Look at that movie. Okay? Mm -hmm. Look at what they're doing. And then look at old footage of us B-Boys. Where's the footage of y'all B-Boys? Well, probably as us. In the 70s, you won't have any of that. Because they weren't doing and that that's much. That's a shame, too. Yeah, it is a shame. Herc has some home movies. 
and he might have people with that. But you know, just you know, unfortunately, you know, they didn't. We weren't thinking like that in those days. Well, we yeah, y'all got the Planet Rock video, right? They was breaking a little bit in there, right? I mean, right. Where was that taken? Because some of it looked like maybe Bronx River uh, community. Uh, maybe? Some of it might be footage from the set. It might be. You know. But that came be. in like in the early '80s, right? Yeah, that's early. Red Alert was in there. Came like in the that's early '80s. Early '80s. Right. Early 80s. Planet Rock is early '80s. So it was no footage of y'all doing y'all thing in the '70s, man. And y'all didn't have cardboard. Oh, hell no. No cardboard, Absolutely no electric not. boogie. No. no. Hmm. That cardboard shit is later. That's 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 that eighties rock steady stuff. Right. That's that. Right. right, Read, right. No. Right. No. No. You hear me? Yo. Fuji. No cardboard. Uh, wow. <laughs> None of that. Wow. None of that. Anybody who's an original B boy will tell you that in no certain terms. None of that cardboard shit. And y'all was breakdancing the bell bottom. Mm, yeah, bell bottom leaves and all that shit. Of course, <laughs> sure, sure. But I mean, yeah, yeah. And y'all the fathers of hip hop to me. I'm saying okay. Like, and if you want to say that's fine, I don't see myself as like, father. I know because I respect you, it. It's like it's like you, Bruce Leroy. Like you don't understand. You're the master. You know, <laughs> not, not just you. Not even just you. Like you say, your man Tony Fuji. Yeah. Um, master Mel. All the original B boys. Y'all began. We started a worldwide breaking, movement. There's right. no question. So we y'all, did. Y'all are but just as much as a father as anybody else. Okay, and, and I hear you, and I respect that. Just the case, huh? Hey. Right, word up. All right, we're here with the brothers. Y'all move a little closer. Oh, that's right? my, right. my dog. You, you must be right. crazy. That's my man. Yes, sir. All right, so um, Bronx. I never knew Bronx still had b-boys. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Without a doubt, that's one of them right here. So when did you start dancing, Mike? Um, about, I would say 73, 74. 73, 74. Mm -hmm. What was it like? Like, what was you doing? Was y'all... We were just in, inventing moves as, as we go going along. Inventing moves? Was y'all yeah. hitting the floor? Was it uh, up rocking? the floor. And I was bruising the floor. Oh, yeah? Yeah. There was no, no cardboard or nothing like that, like they do in, in the 80s. Okay. It was all about just dancing, moving stuff out, out the way, right. dancing on concrete, or wow. dancing on gym floors. And just, just do your thing. So you saying in 74, you about what, 13, 14 or so? 74, I was 14. So what was y'all dancing to back then? Apache. Apache. Mm -hmm. Apache, like 74? Sex yeah. yeah, 74. Yeah, yeah. Sex machine? Yeah. Were you going to cool Herc parties? Yeah, or? I was going to cool Herc parties. Two going dance. To... Say that again, two I was what? Going, I was going to cool Herc party, two dance. Two dance. Yep, that's what that, I was there for. Anyone who's original B-boy, right? Uh-huh. You had to go to a hurt party, man. Okay. Anyone was original because that that was where, you know, that's where I, I've always told you, that's, that's where it really began. And everybody was B-Boys came through her. And somebody, that wasn't saying Mario and them wasn't playing. You know I, what I, I mean? follow him, go, go to his party. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Like, like, like where? where? Where was his party going? Like, um, like the 18th Park. He's the, um, the PAL on West Avenue. Okay. Uh, Bronx River, um, no, not, not Bronx River, um, we came to Bronx River too. We came in the back of the center. Okay. Uh, yeah. He came there. He came there. And we used to go to the Hebelo. Yeah, the Oh, wow. The Hebelo over there on Burnside. Yeah, 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 that's the originals. Orange. The Hebelo. Original, original B Boys, though. The Hebelo. The Twilight Zone. The Executive Playhouse. And, and, and the Ren Renaissance. And the Renaissance. And the Hall. We came Rennie. down there later. The Rennie later on. Yeah. I want to know if, if he was. You know, I guess I got to talk to her to find out. You know his history from his point of view. When was he doing the Hevelo before the PAL and all that type of stuff? Yeah, the Hevelo's older. The Hevelo's older. Do you remember Mike going to the Hevelo at all? Yeah. 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 In 74, 75, 76. I don't know the exact. Yes. You know, but okay. around that, that time, definitely. Yeah. Because right. the Hevelo burned down. Okay. It burned down, so it wasn't no longer you know in existence, and the Twilight Zone was right around the corner from it. You know. Okay. So the Hebelo burned down, and as you know, Herc started playing in the PAL, the Boys Club. So yeah. who you used to be with in the parties? Uh, me and my man Pudgy and, and Angel. Bronx Tale dudes? Yeah, Bronx Tale. Yeah. Angel, I told you about Angel. Angel, another cat. Shaka Zulu. Shout out to okay. my man Angel. Angel, my boy. Shout out to my man Pud doing life. You know, I'm sorry about that. Wow. Yeah, Pud's gone. I didn't realize yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was long I didn't story. realize that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to tell me about that one later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. But Angel, Eric. Yeah, mm hmm. Eric. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Eric, what was Eric's last? Gene, Eric Brown. Eric Brown. Yep. My man Eric Brown. Mm. You know, yes, Eric sir. Brown. Then you had the cats Puppet Master and all that crew. 
Okay. That's your. Oh yeah. You yeah, 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 yeah. Cause DJ. Right. That's that crew. Okay. What That's puppet master? Puppet master is Mark. Oh yeah. And DJ's crime was DJ. Oh yeah. Yeah. But they was from Harlem, though, right? Right. And they used to come be here. They used to hang oh, yeah? out here. Mm. They used to hang out in I'm telling you, the, uh, the Bronx. And they say uh, originated, but this is where a lot of people who came from come used to come and party in, in the Bronx. Right. Yeah. Cool Herc's music and the Frenchman Bambada, Mario. Yeah, even right. the B Boys who got into and they were from Harlem, a place like that, because mm -hmm. they didn't really play that kind of music in Harlem as much. So they wanted to come, they came here. They came here. You know? Right. So anybody, no matter what, even if they want to sing that Brooklyn bullshit, <laughs> you know? Most of the cats who knew anything about hip hop, they had family in the Bronx and they'd come in the summertime and they'd see it. It wasn't some, something that was taking place in Brooklyn until later on. Do you understand what I'm saying? But it's like, do you remember the burning, the uprocking that like Charlie was talking about? The burning, the uprocking? Uh, before we uh, drop it on the floor when we were dancing before that. Oh yeah, that, that, that was that was before Frobo. Yeah, we, when, yeah. Uh, you know, basically it was before you hit the floor. Now the, the, the floor, the, the burning came with the first, but then the floor moved. That's like say you started adding to the repertoire of, of your, your dance. Yeah, like the true b-boy thing is mm -hmm. when the floor moves come in. Mm -hmm. But prior to that, kids well, prior were to that, yeah. burning, you're dancing, you know, you're like doing all, and you might screw somebody's head off, kick it down the, you know, it was about showing up the person, embarrassing the person, that's burning. But as we hit the floor, that's when the b-boys. How long was burning and rocking before they hit the floor? Like how many years they was been like burning? Very early 70s, late very 60s, very early 70s. Very early 70s. When I was like a kid, right? You know, because I remember, you know, we kids at the school dance. You know, was that all over the city, or was that just a Bronx thing burning? I guess the other parts of the city they were doing that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, probably so. The B boy thing, the floor, that mm. that's a Bronx thing. Yeah. Bronx. Yeah. The B the B boy, the real B boy. Come with Herc and the floor and everything. It's just mm -hmm. like you had cats who talk about Brooklyn, they B boy and whatever. Most of those cats had family up here. They come up in the summertime and they see it. And they might go back there. Right, right, right. right. But the introduction is here. The introduction to it is here. So you you were saying like before like breaking was just like an extravagant it went to burn to another level. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. You burn it to another. Add it to the repertoire. That's right. right. So we had to do something different, something more creative. Yeah. To try to. That's interesting. That's a a good perspective way to see it. That's exactly what it is. Burning, but to another level. To another level. So you just get more extravagant. Whatever you yeah, do, I'm yeah, gonna do yeah, more. You do, and now I'm gonna Yeah, all right. right, right. Oh, I got something for your ass. <laughs> right, right. Well, I, I also want to give a shout out to um, Beaver from, from Bronx River. Okay. He was a he was a couple of years younger than me, but this dude okay. he was electrifying as as, as a b boy. Jazzy J was a break dancer before he was an MC, a DJ. Well, y'all want to get a y'all if y'all want to get an original Bronx River b boys, let's get real gully with it. DSC too. Beaver, four b boys that were considered like the number one break dancers, original break dancers, who never ever 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 get credit. Mm -hmm. Beaver number one. Yep. Remus. Yep. God Remus. Rest, wow. Number two. I'm talking about like I didn't like I said I didn't really pay attention too much to what was going on. But when them dudes started doing their thing, I had to watch. Yeah. They, that struck me. Beaver and them, it was just the most craziest, exotic thing to see. Them doing backflips. These dudes wasn't just break dancers. To me, they were um, um, gymnasts. They were gymnasts. Yeah. Hey, but see, you hear it. Let me tell you, they talk about Beaver, and even with Beaver, because a lot of the cats who know the history, they think Beaver's the first person who started breakdancing and b-boy. He's a baby Zulu. Mm -hmm. He's under us. Yeah, he's a baby Zulu. Mm. But <clears throat> let me tell you, let me tell you, yeah, let me tell you about him. He was a baby Zulu. He was um, maybe five, six years younger yeah. than than than, uh, than we were. Yeah. But he was he was yes. really he was. I mean, yeah. this, this yeah. young guy. I even I, me being older used to watch him dance and stole some of his moves because he used to do this helicopter move. And then, you know, we used to do the helicopter move. 
you know, as we've grown up, you know, people and but then he did it in reverse. One he day did. I saw him do it in reverse. Helicopter. Yeah. And I was like, wow. And I went home and tried it. Didn't work out. But, right. I mean, I just kept going the, the conventional way. What is a helicopter? Like a backspin? No, what is that? Uh, we can't do yeah. it now. But let's say you're down here. Have your leg out like this, right? But I'm on the floor, right? On your chest or your back? No, the way I am right now, I'm like this. Okay. All right, but I'm I'm sitting on the bench because right. I ain't trying to. You're in the squat position. But I'm in the squat, and you, you swing your leg around. Oh, okay, okay. And you swing it around. That's a helicopter. Beaver and us too, as us used to do it the opposite way. Mm -hmm. And then we had one. Me and Pap, oh, we used to do it with both legs. We go like this, and then switch legs, and then switch legs, and go like that. Okay. All right. So Beaver was nasty, but when we needed Beaver was under us. He was a baby zoo. Nice. Get it twisted. Nice. He's a baby zoo. Baby zoo. Shout out to Beaver. I haven't seen him in hundred years. They got a picture of him on one of the sites. The B boy, seventies B boy thing. Okay. As a grown man. Oh, yeah? With a suit on and everything. Yeah, and I like, look at people all grown up. Oh, mm. Yeah. But Bebo was a little dude, man. He was nasty. We had a bunch of baby Zulus. My namesake, Little Charlie Rock. Kyle, Ch Kyle Charlie Long. Little Charlie Rock. Oh, it was a little Charlie Rock. Yeah. Wow. Kyle Charlie Long. He's on Facebook. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Little Remus, Little Spider. Remus, Spider. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he got killed. Rest so they was younger than you? Yeah, they were all younger than us. Oh. Okay. They were younger than us, like, you figure we're 15, 16, they're 10. Yeah, 9, 10 years old, yeah? Yeah, 10, 11 years old. Yep. They're like, like, young, like three or four years younger than us. Hmm. Then they were female Zulus. They were Zulu, they were Zulu, Zulu queens. queens. Yeah. Right. Trina, Trina T. Lord One of the early B, B girls. Taste. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hmm. There were Zulu queens as well. Vanessa and Lisa. Hmm. Yeah. Those are those big sisters, right? Yep, big yeah. sister, that's right. So Chuck City had a crew too, right? Yeah. Sterl, Johnny. Uh, Tell me about Daddy. Sterl, rest in peace. Still just passed. Yeah. You know, shout every time Sterling. we get here, we gotta give a shout out to somebody. Sterling who Logan. just passed. Sterling? Sterling Logan, my brother just passed. We just buried him last Sunday, a week, a week ago today. A week ago today. My how many, real brother. How many was in Chuck City crew? Yeah. And that whole first episode. Right. First section was was the mecca yeah. where we all went. We right. all flooded to the first. Either you went to the first or your parents. You was from the, the second, second section. Second yeah. section, right? Yeah, okay. but all of them came to the first. Right. Like we come, we hang out in the first. Hmm. But 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 see now, the, you know, um, I got love for, for Bronxdale, you know. But the first section, B boys didn't have anything on me, Angel, and Put, who was from the second section, okay. which Mario wanted us to be in, in, in that crew to, to dance at his party. Yeah. Did y'all used to battle the second against the first? No, they, 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 they didn't want none of us. They didn't want none of y'all? Oh, see, y'all was the best. What about the third section, Ed? Hmm. Oh, let's see. As a guy, Michael Little Cotton. Cleve, Little Cleve lived there. Oh, yeah, Cleve was, it was all right, yeah. Little Cleve lived there. That's, that's Blackjack's baby brother. That's Shirley, we talk about Shirley. That's their baby brother, Little Black. Well, other than that, as my wife and kids, Michael Kyle, used to say, uh, no. Uh, okay. Yeah. Nope. It was us. Mm. You know what the funny, like, the third section was sort of like the quiet section. Because mm. it was the furthest away from the first. So, you know, the third section was all in the back. And the third section would get shine, like, when Mario would play, like, in Path Park. The third section had some gangsters, though. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had some real Woo. fucking black yes, women. What's no, we're looking for, we're the, looking for the first. Looks for the second, uh -huh. okay. But uh, Cleve yeah. is from Big Black is from you got Amber, the Rosa Brothers. Aunt Rose. You got now Tim Black. I told you about Aunt Rose. Right. His sister was my girl, Bruni. Okay. And I told you the '77 Fly. When you see my name, and she's right. That was my oh, girl. You stay Bruni. Yeah. 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 My girl, Bruni. Bruni Rosa. I remember Aunt when he was a little boy. I was like my little man. Mm. Grew up in the grown dude. Yeah, yeah. you know. And his other brother, man, when he was a baby. Shout, shout out to Aunt Rosa, who's always in shape. Yeah. <laughs> Aunt, Ro Aunt Rose, my man. <laughs> Aunt Rose. Yes, yeah, sir. Remember, the, 
the disco era was first. Okay. It was the, the, the disco era coming up in the early 70s, 71, 72, you know. Yeah. You know, that, that was the disco era, which, and then it just, that just, just faded out. But I, but I thought the disco era was after that, like no, no because no, Saturday, disco like the disco they say the first, first. Di disco song might have been in '73, the first official disco song. No, nah, like it was, it was, like do, do the hustle that That's came out in '75. Well, seven, what's no, his name? The guy named high school, um, Van McCoy. Right, Van that McCoy. came out in '75. Yeah, but even there, a lot of disco era and R and B that was played in discos. Okay. It's early 70s. Okay. Early 70s. So you figure, and, and the, the, the Hustle, that was in the 73, 74, 73. Because, like, what's that movie? John Travolta, the sad, that came Hall. out like a 70. But that, right. they, they, they were still trying to reach that, hold on to that. that okay. Era. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was already, they was made done. the movie based okay. on the era, mm -hmm. okay. which had already been happening. Okay, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. And hip hop, right. or what came to be known as hip hop, right. was like the rebellion against that mm. you know we're b-boys we wearing sneakers we wearing bots they didn't want us in discos right and i told you that before that wasn't you know that's why when they, they try to claim this and that and the other don't claim it now because that became the culture that became the dominant culture right nobody talks about disco mm. right right i just like donald summer though well, we right, all right, did, right? Right, we all did. Right. And see, that's the thing. <laughs> Even though we were B-boys, we could do all the dances. It wasn't like we couldn't hustle. Right. It wasn't like, you know, awesome music, come on, we just sit, you know, you grab a girl, you dance and everything like that. But see, we lived for the B-boy music mm. because that was our claim to fame. Mm -hmm. We were the first celebrities out of that. You know what I mean? Like, cast points, yo, yo, that's Mike. That's Shaka Mike. That's Shaka Zulu Mike. Yo, that's, it, it was Charlie Rock for the zoo, you know. It was, it was it was crazy how people used to stand around and wait for you to dance. Yeah. Wait for you to dance. Yeah, they used to wait for you to dance. You know, because you, you were known for dancing, but to have people standing around waiting for you to, to do it. What do you mean they was waiting for you? What I mean, they, they stand, you know, they're, they'll stand around you like, well, think, so, oh, yeah. And then you're like, just wait for you to <laughs> dance. wait for you to dance. So y'all was the stars. We were, yes. Hood stars. Hood stars, yeah, yeah that's we, what I that's mean. That's what we were. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got to remember. We're the first celebrities of it because it was a local thing. It wasn't internet. Mm -hmm. Right. It was local. Mm -hmm. It started locally. And so we're the first celebrity. Yo, you walk around. That's that's Shaka. That's Mike. That's Mike from Shaka Zulu. That's Charlie Rock from the Zulu King. Yo, the Zulu King is coming. Here comes the Zulu. They're coming to party. And I mean, I'm talking about I come, I saw him beyond funky music. Funky music is the thing. Funky music is the thing. Dance everybody. And the circle is there. And I come and walk in the circle. And I just, you know, we got stuff. We got swag. Yeah. You know, they call it that. We got swag, though. Know. Come in and all of a sudden, and you part the circle. And then you're doing your thing and start dancing. And, you know, and then you get on. And all of a sudden, like, depending on how nice you was. Right. People either challenge you in the circle. But if you was nice, they ain't nobody touching you. Ain't, ain't nobody coming, coming in. And they just watch So he, he was real good, you would say, Jolly? Yeah, yeah, I mean, you yeah. know, um, what was and the thing about it, he knew I was good. Yeah. Right. So so I mean it, it was it's a competitive yeah. battle. It's a respect thing. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a respect thing. You know. But when 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 he came, I'm telling you that, that I I still remember that day, and I still have nightmares about. It. <laughs> <laughs> but you know it was it was something that that was um, that that happened that was a classic battle, and we became friends since what. And that's my dope. Yeah, and then like. I go away to college. Right. Me and his sister went to college together. Yeah. New Paul's. Yep. So shout out to, to Janine. <laughs> you know, so so you know what I mean? That's that's what I'm saying. It's, it was all love. Mm. It was all love. But I was I was kind of, I was rocking cats. They was like, who the hell is this guy? Mm. And that's how we happened with the Zulu Kings. And I, yo. And I have nothing against um, uh, the, the guys that um, the, the rock steady crew, these guys, right? You know, and that's how they, they got on TV, and you know the yeah. B boy and all that. But you know that that was their era. They they used to dance on cardboard, mm. yeah, and, and cardboard and all, all that. And all that. We, we didn't do that. Yeah, and that's cardboard. why they talk about all that head spins. They wouldn't have been doing if they were yeah. concrete. They wouldn't have been doing no damn head spins on imagine, concrete either. Imagine me doing head a uh, head spin on concrete. Yeah, we'd have holes in our head now. But that mm. that's a, another era. Um, I, I was was I would say. 75 to 78? Yep. 75, 75 74 even. Yeah, just 74, 74 to 78. 78. Hmm. Yep. You know, wow. where you see B-Boy. And even before that, like I told you, the burning, 
Mm -hmm. 73, when you're burning and all right, that, burning. that's more up rocky kind of stuff. What, do you remember burning, Mike? Burning? Yeah, burning. Like, the, uh, like I mean, when you dance with somebody and burn them? Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's what we used to call it. I, I just got burnt. Or I'm a burner. Right, okay. Uh, that, that's how it was. Yeah. As a, um, what, what was your first introduction to dancing? Just in, with your friends? I mean, what was your I, first... I always liked, liked to dance when I, I was younger. You know, the, the, I mean, as far one. as breaking. I mean, as far as... I, I, don't, I really don't know. I don't know how I, I started doing it. But I know what, once I, I got... Once I learned it, you know, it, it, it was fun. But then, and you know, you, everybody added their little twist to it. I, I'll do a move here. Because I, I know, um, like, in the, in the 80s, the Rocksteady crew, they, they do all this and do all that. My, mine was just straight first. I just go okay. first. Go hard. Now I don't want to break nothing. But, uh, right, that's not uh, true. I can't drop the wall. Yeah. You know? But, but you know, it, it's, a, it's a different swag how we, we used to do it. I, I was, I was straight forth, look at you. If you know, if you were in the circle, I would come in and look at you, then go in from there. But you always add something different, something that make them laugh, something that is different, something creative. Yeah, there's much more humor involved yeah. when we were dancing. It's comical stuff. I mean, even if you see them wrestling, they do their little whatever they do. But we were very comical. Like, you do something like play baseball, imitate playing baseball, yeah. or you, 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 you screw somebody's head off. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. You yeah, hit the ball, run. you do. Mm. And then you start dancing again, and you know, <laughs> things like that. It was all, it was a routine to it, and you drop it on the floor, and you add your own little stuff. I used to do a move back in the day. And I couldn't obviously do it now, but the way I was able to bounce, I, I was much more flexible, right. younger. And I used to do a thing where I used to have my feet like this, and I'd be up the ground. And the way I could do it, and me and Monk used to do it with me. And the way I could be on the ground and move my feet so, so that it moved me forward, like I was driving a car. Mm -hmm. And so I'd be there, and I would put the ignition in the car. I remember that. <laughs> just and all of a sudden yeah, I, I would remember. move. And it, it was like I had a car, and I was riding around the circle. Mm. Or me and Monk. Do a thing. He was my dog. I was the dog, and he was the handle. He put the leash on me. He walked me around the circle, and I find where well, we were burning. I was going. He'd walk me around the circle, and I pee on him, like, like you know, like a dog yeah. on a tree. Yeah, <laughs> you know, do fun little funny shit like that. Mm. So you know, it was routines to it, and, and all that kind of stuff. Mm. You know, but we were, ha we were having fun, man. And we were, like I said, we were the first celebrities. And Mike said, people came to see us. Mm -hmm. mm. They came to hear the music. They came to see us. Mm. Later on, all the D, the, the MC stuff, and they started their little routines. And like I said, I lost interest because it wasn't dancing no more. Right. But one, the b-boy thing, we just got older. And you know, you get into girls, you know, you, you get older. And that's how we kind of stopped b-boying. Yeah. And Rocksteady and them come later. They picked it up later. They kept it going. The Latino kids kept it going, whatever. And you know, when, when they came out, I was, I was in my, my 20s. Oh, yeah? See, I, I was about I was about getting money and right. women. Exactly. And, That's what I told them. Did, did, did I mention the jump shot? Yeah. 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 They all played for trip. Yeah. They had ball games. Oh, yeah? yeah. yeah. Mike Watts. Did Mike you met that side? Yeah. Shout out to Mike Watts. Oh, yeah? All of them, yeah. Yeah. They it was the all Watts nice. brothers, period. Yeah, they Mike and Steve. Ball. They were yeah. nasty. Steve, God bless him. He rest in peace, my man, Steve Watts. Well, I, I would like to say that, that we had a part in, in, in hip hop. I was, I was dancing and, uh, and the elements of, of hip hop because I, I never used to do the, the graffiti thing. That, that wasn't my, my thing. Right. But the, the, the style, the how you used to dress with, with the fat laces and yeah, fat and laces. Yeah, right. yeah. That, that, that was you. The fatter that your laces, they had to be clean though. The right. fatter your, your laces and the cleaner your, your sneakers are, the flyer you were. When we used to go to a place called the Shaft. We used to go to the tunnel. Oh, oh, the tunnel the the I don't know about the Hevalo. The Hevalo. Right. The Hevalo. The Hevalo. I'm saying a lot of people don't know about the Hevalo. The Hevalo. The Hevalo. We hear all that, but we talking about the early, yeah. early. early. Uh, we used to go to the place right there on Burnside, Chicken and Spice. All these places. Delta. They said Cool Herc was rocking the Hevalo. I guess maybe later on. Yeah, later on. He must have been. Well, Green, 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 Green,